Good morning, Sun. I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 54 on our round the world trip. Now we are here just next to this reservoir, which I don't know if you can see just in the background, just outside the city of Ouazazat, where we had a successful wild camp here, our first wild camping in Morocco. Successful right here, it's a beautiful morning. Yes, we had a really good night too. It was super quiet, no wind at all, and we slept without our tent cover, so we could see the stars, and we had a really nice breeze, so it wasn't too cold, it wasn't too hot, it was just perfect. You could hear a few dogs barking. In the distance. In the distance. I think this is just a common thing here in Morocco that you can always hear dogs barking when you're camping. And it's really funny as well because I read on iOverlander about this place here and they mentioned it's possible that some locals come and ask you to want to drink some tea with you. And yesterday we had somebody coming over asking us, do you want to drink some tea with, with me? <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's really funny. So let me show you guys where we're going to be heading today. Okay. So we are here just at this reservoir outside the city of Ouazazat and we are going to be continuing on the N10 which joins up with the N9 and crossing the high Atlas mountains over to Marrakech. There's one cool place that we're going to be visiting along the way as well, which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Ait Ben Hadou. But I'll tell you more about that when we get over there. So we have about 150 miles, which is uh, 240 k's to go. It's just 7.10 in the morning, so better hit the road. Let's go. First little off-road to warm up for today. All right, let's do it. Okay, we won't take that one. No. That's a little bit too crazy. Nice. I like this. Yeah, it's beautiful. It was a Ooh. super, super nice camp. Yeah. It was super peaceful, super yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad, don't worry. Yeah. And it's actually quite cool at the moment, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's nice. It says air temperature is 18 degrees. Wow, wow, so that's incredible. We're actually bordering on being a little bit too cold for us now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really happy that we woke up so early, get yeah. started early. It gets hot in the afternoon, doesn't it? It gets hot and I get a headache. Yeah, yeah which is a little bit annoying because we are just on the way down south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically got a month of endless sunshine. Yeah, a month of suffering, I can do that. <laughs> All right, this is the RN10, the Route Nationale 10, and it's going to join up with the Route Nationale 9 at Wazazat. And then we'll be heading over there into the Atlas Mountains. Let's go!
So this whole area of Morocco around the Wazazat and these mountains here, this is basically the Hollywood of Morocco. So we just passed by in Wazazat, the town, uh, quite a few film studios and this whole area has been used for a lot of films since the 1960s and the place that we are heading to right now, which is about five miles away, Ait Ben Hadou is also used as film sets. It's been used as a film set for uh, Prince of Persia, Alexander, um, The Mummy. I mean, it's like part of film history. But it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, it was built in the 11th century and is basically a fortified village set on a hill it's completely built out of mud as well yeah yeah exactly so it just kind of like blends into the hill so um yeah it's going to be really cool can't wait to see it yeah it should be really nice so this road that we're on right now coming up and through the mountains um is part of a very very historic trade route from the Sahara and Sub-Saharan Africa through to Marrakesh and then further on to the coast and uh, Aid Ben Hadou originally started as a fortified stop with like you know a place to rest a place to stop a place to trade along this trade route it has a lot of historic significance and it's a historic route that we're taking right now you can imagine for the past like thousand maybe even more years People with their camel trains have been traveling through here from the Sahara up up into the Atlas Mountains and stopping off where we're going to stop off today. Of Aid Ben Hadou from here now. Very picturesque place. I don't know what's more impressive, the buildings or the women doing the handwork picking there, like they have done a thousand years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really beautiful. Peaceful area, very nice. <laughs> but we gotta hit the road. We gotta get to Marrakesh. Oh look, there's a little motor motorcycle girl over there. Maybe I should go and pick her up. Well, hey there, pretty lady. Where are you headed? You wanna go to Marrakesh? <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. We're now heading towards the Atlas Mountains in front. The place that we have booked to stay is 111 miles on the other side in Marrakesh. Yeah, we booked this place on Airbnb and it's um, 16 euro the night and we booked it for a few days. Yeah, just pretty much just a bed and a desk. Yes. A place where we can do some editing, where we can chill out a bit because we have now been on the road for quite a few days in a row. Yeah, I think seven days. Yeah, um, so I think it's time for uh, for a little bit of off the bike time.
it's like they're building the entire way from Marrakesh to Wazazad. Mm -hmm. They're rebuilding the entire road. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Who would have known, hey? <laughs> they're moving mountains for this highway. Wow. Respect. Wow, look at these colors. Yeah, it's really beautiful here. Wow. We've got this dark brown mountain next to this like really red mountain. Yeah. And then they're farming uh, some sort of wheat here. Everything in, in, in this terraces. Yeah, and this is what they're using to uh, feed the animals, but also to mix with the earth to make the houses. Because, uh, of course, all of the houses are made from just straw and, and mud. It's really incredible. I mean, look, you can barely see the difference between the houses and the, and the mountain. Yeah, incredible. Absolutely incredible. We just passed over a mountain pass with the sign that said altitude 2260 meters above sea level. Yeah, and it's so crazy as well because we just changed like the valley and here the mountains are actually more like green and grey yeah. and brown. Yeah. They totally lost their red, red color. Yeah, and there's actually grass on these hills yeah. a little bit. Yeah, completely different. It looks completely different. Yeah. It's very cool. People selling some stuff here on the side of the road. I think it's honey, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Or some marmalade. Or maybe some argan oil or something. Yeah. And they're all competing with each other as well. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, really pretty mountains in front. Yeah. Coming down the other side of the Atlas Mountains now, 
you can see the landscape starting to open up but yeah it was quite a long and windy road it wasn't so many miles but you cannot drive those roads very fast which is nice you can enjoy the enjoy the place we've traveled 109 miles we've got 41 miles to go until we reach marrakesh and yeah i think that is the end of the windy mountain roads uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, he's stuck as well behind the truck. <laughs> Look at those trucks. Oh. oh God, and that truck has to go all the way up and over where we just went. It's crazy. I mean, it must take him the whole day. It must take him forever to, to pass the mountains. I guess so. Okay, we are just having the cheapest meal on our trip so far yet. It's 80 cents and it's egg and bread. <laughs> And I got, because it's so cheap as well, a Moroccan salad. Bon appetit! We've just come down from the mountains and we've entered like the busiest place in the whole world. I don't think we're in Marrakesh because we still have 26 miles to go. But look at this place. Yeah, look here on, on the right. You can see the horse and the cars here. So it's really common here. We saw a lot of locals using them. Yeah, like taxis, horse. Yeah, horse taxis. Carriage taxis. Yeah, it's really crazy. And here on the other side, you can see like all the taxi drivers as well. Wow. And there's a... A donkey it's in really the middle of the road. Busy place. Yeah. To be a bit careful. There's quite a lot of people around. Yeah, a lot of people around. It's a whole different life to the life of the mountains, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Okay, we're finally coming in close to Marrakesh. We're coming in on the east side of Marrakesh and we're heading across to the west side. Uh, it's about, uh, what is it, 6.8 miles. I've routed actually to Marrakesh airport because our accommodation is just near the airport. And yeah, it's very busy here as well. A lot of stuff going on. Wow, look at that. Almost like already a Medina happening just there. And a lot of uh, terracotta over there. A lot of tagines for sale. <laughs> oh look, I think that's the old town right there. Ah, yeah it is. It is the old town right there. Wow, so we really drove quite close into the center. I didn't realize we were that close in. Yeah. But uh, we're pretty much taking a ring road around the old town of Marrakesh. That's a massive, massive walled old town though. Yeah. It's huge. Huge. Just like in every city, the scooters are just mad. Yeah. They all want to die. Wow, it's so... Markets. Oh, it's so busy here, full of everything. Markets, people, cars. Oh. It's just madness. stopped here and we've messaged our host on Airbnb Ahmed uh, we're just gonna wait for him to come here or message us or do something and find out where his place is good evening guys we made it happy and alive <laughs> yes here we are in our room uh, in Marrakesh have a look We found this room on Airbnb and it's a very, very nice, cozy room. Have a look. <laughs> so we're going to stay here in Marrakesh for the next few days um, to do a bit of editing. And also we're going to head into the city for a day to explore there. Bumblebee is parked up down there, safely covered up. Yeah, right in front where we can keep an eye on her. Exactly. So we did about 155 miles or 250 kilometers. It was a very, very beautiful ride. I really enjoyed it today. Beautiful winding roads up and over the Atlas Mountains. And uh, yeah, it didn't get really hot at all until we came, came down here into Marrakesh at the very end. So yeah, pretty cool day's ride, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, please, please, please. And comment below. We will see you next time.